is seriously stunning. It's like a wonder of nature. Oh, this is good. I recommend. Definitely worth the 4,400 miles. We have taken the Warm Springs Road out of Ketchum and immediately here you enter the Sawtooth National Forest on the other side of where we were earlier today. And the reason we're here, as the road's name suggests, is there's a series of hot springs. Now, there's some that are developed, but we're gonna try to get to some that are um, totally wild and see how far our car can get us because we don't have much of a tow vehicle and here we are next to the Frenchman's hot spring in Ketchum, Idaho the road was very easy actually and very well steam road and even a lowered sedan can do it and there are a bit too many people for liking right now so we can try to find another hot spring there's a bunch of them here so yeah it was like at least one family with a bunch of kids and we're just like oh, I don't know. There was a pool, but we'd be downstream, so... Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. We're looking for another hot spring, which is marked by a sign and marked on the map. And it should be in the creek next to us. And there's a place here cleared out for parking. So we're trying to find if it really exists. So there's parking here, but um, on the map it says, that's the creek. Mm. West Fork Warm Springs Creek. No information, just says West Fork Warm Springs. And the map has it there, a big drop here, and some kind of pool, but you would think it actually designates it somehow with the yeah. area, because that looks like a creek that it was, it was yeah. <laughs> Doesn't... I'm looking for a hot spring out here at Stanley. It's really beautiful. How amazing is this though? But when you step out, this is what you see. And you can actually go into this river and cool off, which should be ice cold. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Oh, it's warm right here. And then it gets cold fast. And so, yeah, you get to be in the river. Right now my legs are ice cold, freezer cold, and my body is very hot. <laughs> it is totally like that Russian ice plunge. How does the water? It's really cold. What an amazing way to start the day here. This hot spring, which has been channeled into this pool and outside is the river. And this is the view that greets you immediately as you step out and you're all glowing. Really, really hard to beat. Idaho's tourism is among the best. Don't overlook Idaho. Many, many do, but it's so amazing. And this is a protected area with like 20 species that you can observe as you're in the hot tub. <laughs> well, yesterday we aborted the mission with the hot spring because it was crowded and it was small, too many people. That one was the Frenchman? Yeah. The one closest to Sun Valley, they say it's because it's so accessible and everybody knows about it, it's always busy. But this one is called Russian John, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see what we have here. At the first glance, it's a beautiful mountain area. It's been snowing in June and now it's July, it's still snow there. There's a trail right here, which we'll follow and see what we get. And there are wildflowers and it smells like herbs and birds are singing. It's an Idaho pristine. It really is. So I found this one based on some GPS coordinates. I wasn't really sure if we are going to find anything at all, but... Hey, if GPS works for the US military, we can make it work when we're vacationing. That looks pretty legit. Yeah, see? Now we would get something. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> That's so cool. Wow, what's hiding? It smells like a... Hot spring. I don't need any time. I'm going in. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh man, that is great. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Dear. <laughs> Man. Oh, and it's crystal clear and it's not chemical. It's not full of people. You got that slimy feel from the sulfur. And just a little bit too. It's not too sulfurated. You're wasting precious time outside. I'm trying to get the food. I'm not sure at all where the water is coming from. It, there's, I was just wondering that. It's a lot of water. By the edges here, it's warmer, so I'm guessing from these edges mm -hmm. where I'm against them. Yeah, I see though. They were like, it's not steaming hot. So they actually say in the winter, this one is not really here because it's just too cold. It's not considered hot. Yeah, what the It's cold outside. But this right now is perfect. Yeah. Definitely worth the 4,400 miles. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, it's so cool. It's so nice. They're right, this is totally scenic. Yeah. This is the best one so far. Much better than the commercial ones. Oh yeah, that's like people around wow. you. Cement. Natural hot spring. Oh, How about natural. that? <laughs> it's very cool having this whole thing to ourselves. And obviously some of this has been man-made. I think when they made like this barrier here, it kind of blocks the view from the road, which makes it feel a little bit more private because you can indeed hear the cars going by. There's not a lot of cars going by, but a fairly busy road. But it only seems that people come out to this one if they know that the spring is here. So that makes it really, really cool. So incredibly scenic. Definitely worth coming out here if you ever make it to Ketchum or Sun Valley, it's worth the drive. We are done with the hot spring and this is the view that greets you as soon as you get out. Snowy mountains and just you, nothing else. It's amazing. But with hot springs you don't want to spend too much time in them because you know they're full of actual minerals and gases and for some people it can actually make them really sick so you do have to make sure that you don't spend a whole lot of time in them and make sure that you get out especially for us because we want to visit more today so we don't want to spend all of our time in this one we want to leave ourselves some capacity to do the others today. so far we've woken up and we've gone to the hot spring and now we went to the hot spring in our hotel but there's a few other more natural ones one of the most popular ones is the kirkham hot spring and our hot tub mates this morning actually gave us a nice tip. They told us that the Kirkham campground is closed, but the actual hot spring is still open, which is a good tip because we would have turned around because this sign here kind of indicates the whole thing is closed, but apparently you can just walk through and find the hot springs. So we're gonna go do that. This is supposed to be one of the most visual and really pretty hot springs. I peeked at some photos, so I know that it looks really, really awesome. Susie saw the spoiler. What's really cool about this whole thing here in this area is that you can hike and kick your ass in the daytime and you would develop strain but once you go into the hot spring you completely relax again so you can do it again next day. So now we arrive at the area that describes the hot springs. There must be oh yeah see there's a map says you're here and there's a whole lot of them. It's not just one mm -hmm. and there are two waterfalls by the look of it at least. Because the river itself is gorgeous. Here's the welcoming crew. Here's the trail. Wow, a raging river. Here's this water coming down, which judging by the deposits, I think is hot. And people are laying at the bottom. This is so, so gorgeous. Well, was I right? It looks amazing. Yes. It's a hot spring waterfall. This is seriously stunning. It's like a wonder of nature.
whole pool on the side of the cliff here. The whole thing is hot water, coming like a waterfall for a while. It's very hot. I'm only soaking my feet a bit. Oh, he did it. Nice. Is that straight up hot water coming on your head? Oh, it feels good. <laughs> wow. It's like a shower. Wow. Yeah, this whole river has nine natural hot springs on it. This way, right here? Uh, all the way down at 65 miles. There's wow. kind of litter throughout the whole river. Amazing. Is this one the most scenic? Uh, it's probably the most used. <laughs> Oh, that feels really good. <laughs> oh, with the breeze? Yeah. When the breeze comes through and it really cools you off. You should go up in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it feels good. I recommend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that good? It's so great. Wow, it would feel so good if it's cold outside, too. Yep. Oh, man. Yeah, in the wintertime, this would be amazing. Do Iceman challenge right mm -hmm. here. Yes. Immediately cools up right here. It's so good. Are you going all the way down? No. No? It's cold. It's, it's about the same temperature as the Russian ice spa. How are you feeling? Amazing. <laughs> we I have a little like... waterfall buddy next yeah, to you. Yeah, I do. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> that shower was the best. Yeah. nothing like having a really really hot day and ending it with a nice sip of cold water and so this is one of the hacks that we did for this road trip I've always seen like these giant hydro flask like 64 ounce hydro flask bottles at REI and I never really understood the purpose of them until we started thinking about the road trip and when you're road tripping you're gonna want to carry a lot of water but then if you're in these plastic bottles they're gonna get all hot especially when it's really warm outside and so one way to kind of cut down on your use of plastic bottles and also keep your your water ice cold is to buy one of these giant hydro flasks and it keeps your water so cold and you're really gonna enjoy it on these hot days Yes, it is really nice and I need it immediately. Yeah, so basically we start off the day with each of our bottles filled, we drink it and then whenever we need to refill, we go back to this giant hydro flask and it's been working out super well. I'm really glad we, that we went with this whole strategy. It's been well worth the investment. The water is cold all day and it doesn't go bad like in the heated car. Mm -hmm. So all day we're drinking cold water and it doesn't get you sick, you don't drink plastic pollution, mm -hmm. much better. It's been really great for a road trip. Highly recommend it.